how is it that good people, like any of us, or any of you at least, could, under certain circumstances, begin to do bad things? So the looser effect is what I've been thinking about for a long time, actually since I was a kid, about human transformation. And for me, there are a lot of definitions of evil, obviously, since people have been studying it so long. But the psychological definition is evil is the exercise of power. And that's, I'm going to show you that that's the key. It's all about power. And it's to intentionally harm other people, harm through uh, prejudice, harm through stereotypes, uh, harm through um, uh, uh, teasing, bullying, but also to hurt through torture, through abuse or rape, and also then to kill. And finally, crimes against humanity, where it's not individuals but nations uh, committing genocide. So that's my definition of evil. A simpler definition by a friend of mine is that evil is knowing better but doing worse. Okay, so that's a very simple, simple one. If you Google the word evil, a word so old that it should have withered by now, in fact, you get 136 million hits in a third of a second. If you put an evil in, the, in George W. Bush, the President of the United States, you get two million hits. Some people would say it's because he's evil, but whether or not you believe in that, it's that he uses evil. And people use evil because if you point to somebody else's evil, uh, in a sense, that makes you more superior. So he's calling everybody, every other na the evil empire, the evil nation, evil dictators. For the old timers in the audience, when you say, who are the most evil people who ever existed? It's clearly Hitler, and we'll get back to him in a moment. But Joseph Stalin uh, actually accounted for more deaths uh, than Hitler. And then actually, historians are saying, Chairman Mao uh, accounted for maybe 20 million deaths of Chinese citizens in two of his programs, which were disasters, the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution. In fact, most of the big evil in the world is not by, done by individual people. It's usually done by, at the level of nations. Um, and it's not only with dictators like Pol Pot, Idi Amin, um, but it's nations who mobilize people against an enemy. We're going to talk about that later, later on.